Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman and members of the committee. We appreciate the chance to insert you uh, very appropriately in the budget making process again at this stage. You've been involved already in a series of hearings, but there are some new developments that are under consideration. And our purpose here is briefly to introduce you to what it is that is in front of you, uh, and then to go to the rather extensive list of uh, witnesses that wish to provide testimony to you today. The language that you have in front of you is being put into the public light for vetting, both by legislators and outside parties concurrently. Yesterday, this package that's in front of you was announced by the leaders, but it, 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 its language became available later in the day and was circulated widely to those who get notices uh, through Gondler and other channels. So um, that will allow them, I think, today to provide you more input than uh, would otherwise be the case. And the purpose for vetting this is, is, is there are some changes we know already that need to be made, and there may be further comments that we want to take under consideration. For example, the language, there was a misunderstanding, I think, in the drafting instructions as it relates to the earned income tax credit. Uh, it is not going to be a refundable tax credit, but the language that's in front of you says that it is. So that, will, that the intention uh, was not carried through in the language that you have in front of you, just as an example. So what we're trying to do is go through a process that will prepare this language to be given its full consideration next week when we do the Committee on Conference and put together a report that will be a recommendation to both the House and the Senate. And speaking of the Senate, because this has been a very close process of working with a whole range of, of inputs, uh, we have been working very closely with the Governor's Office and with the Senate, and as testimony to that, we have uh, requested that Senator Weidner join us today, too, in this hearing, uh, since it's uh, an informal hearing, and we are looking forward to his participation. So, um, why are we doing this? Why is this in front of us? Well, first of all, it is a tax cut at the bottom line. And that, that isn't going to be uniformly viewed with, with great joy. Uh, but it is important to our state that we continue to move in a direction that helps our state get stronger. And that's what this is about. It's a 2.6, when you round it, 2.58 billion dollar estimated three year, over three years uh, return of funds that would otherwise be taken out of the taxpayer's pocket back to the taxpayer. And that's, that's what this package does. You can measure it by year. In the first year, it's a little over a billion dollar net tax cut. But it, it does run as a permanent uh, policy proposal. So how is it different from the House and the Senate? I don't want to go into that in great detail. But essentially, the House and the Senate passed tax reductions that delivered it differently and cost roughly the same. And our aspiration and goal was to see how much of both we could do. And so we have a deeper cut now than was passed uh, in terms of its expanse by either the House or the Senate. It is an 8.5% bracket reduction across all brackets the, the first year, then 9% the second year as we face to the final 10% resting point in that third year. So that's the, the bracket change. And then there's a business tax reduction as well that will be uh, pointed out. There, I'm not going to go through the whole thing because uh, the other uh, two legislators here will, will touch on that a little bit more. I want to make one more point about why this is important. We have been having conversation about attempting to help move people up off poverty and across all our economic spectrums to do better. This is an important step in that direction. Because if they don't have a job, or they can't have a better job that pays better, we aren't going to be successful in helping them move out of poverty. Now, the tax code is not the only tool, and it's not the end all. 
you can't do everything that you want to do just by tax policy. But it's one thing that we control. We have direct control and the direct opportunity to shape our tax policy. And that's what this proposal does. It's very important. I have a tendency to want to go on because I start preaching. So uh, I am going to simply say that our, our state is getting stronger. We are in a recovery mode. We are sharing. I'm not going to give you the whole budget speech because this is only one piece of it. This particular piece is the tax piece that's different than uh, in a number of important ways than what the other elements were that this committee already heard. So that's why we're here today, to give you a chance to understand it a little bit better and, and give witnesses a chance to, to get their, their input. And I thank all of you very much for your willingness to participate in this process.